Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about DQL, that is data query language. And here, and in that, we have this select command. Okay. So it is very, very important uh, command. Okay. So most of the question uh, from the gate previous year question, if you see for CSC paper, it is based on this select command only. So generally, select is used to retrieve or fetch a data from a particular database or a table, we can say, right? Suppose we have a database right data is stored in the database but if we want to get the data from a database if we want to fetch a data or view a data from a particular database in that case we can use this select command okay so we can fetch either the entire table or according to the some specific rules or we can say conditions also right or conditions so this is the syntax for select command okay suppose right so select is a keyword so select then whatever the column name you want to fetch okay for example, I have this table student, right? Having column this one, then four columns C1, C2, C3, C4. And if I want to fetch only C1 and C3, then I can only mention C1, C3. That's it. Select C1, C3 from, so from is also keyword, but from which table? So you have to mention the table name here. So whatever the table name is there, for example, student, right? Suppose student is table name. So here we have to mention the student table name, okay? And this, so where is the filtering condition? Based on this particular condition, it will give us the data. So we'll discuss this select query using SQL because it is very important concept and question uh, will be asked based on this. And once we discuss that uh, select query, we'll solve this particular question. So this is the latest question, GATE 2023. Okay, they asked this question in GATE 2023 CSE paper. So we are going to solve this particular question. Okay. Now let's go back to our uh, SQL editor and see how we can uh, run this particular select command. Okay. Okay. So here you can see this data, right? So this is the student table. Okay. So roll number is there, name is there, age, credit, course, and department. Okay. So six columns are there and 10 rows are there. So roll number is a primary key. Primary key means it is it will have a unique and nordinal constraint, right? Name, age. So this so these are the data types, right? Age is integer. Credit is uh, numeric double precision, right? Then course is where I care. De department is also where I care, right? So this is the student table, okay? Now this table is stored in my uh, database, right? Student table. So if I want to view a data from a particular uh, table, so what I can do, I can write select star from whatever the table name is, that is student table, okay? So select star from student, okay? So if I run this query, I will get the same table because i am mentioning star so here star means here star means all the attributes okay all the attributes okay if i want all the attributes or a column from a particular table then in that case i can mention star okay so it will give us all the attributes present in a table so here you can see same table i'm getting as output okay we are, we, because we are only just selecting select star from student okay what if i don't want all the columns i just want roll number name and course only these three column i want roll number name and course then in that case what you have to do select then just mention the roll number whatever the column you want to fetch okay so just mention that so i want to fetch roll number name and course and after that from which table from student table right from student table so if i run this particular query so here you can see I am getting only three columns now because I have just specified here I want to fetch only three columns, not the entire uh, table. Now in this case I will only get the three columns. So this is how we can uh, specify the column which we want to fetch. Okay. So, so this is right. So this is simple select then column uh, name right from student. This is a query right. But here I am getting roll number name and course from a student table right. These three columns for all the ten entries for all the ten entries. I don't want all the entries, right? I want the roll number, name, and course of a student whose roll number is greater than 5, okay? So, I want name, okay? We want to fetch name, roll number, course of student, of student whose roll number is greater than 5, greater than five okay so in that case what i have to do so i want this three attribute right select name then roll number then course and from which table from student table right from student but 
if i run this particular query i will get the three record i will get the three columns right in this three column name roll number scores so whatever the sequence we mention in the select command in that particular order only this will column will appear like name roll number course so if you so if you mention the roll number on the uh, first side like in the first uh, place so roll number will be the first column okay so so select name roll number course from student okay so we have selected three columns name roll number and course for all the 10 records now i want whose roll number is greater than five so i can mention where so where is a filtering condition okay so where this roll number greater than so we have different comparison operator here so this is greater than five okay so if i just mention roll number greater than five then i will only get the record of a student whose roll number is greater than five here you can see right roll number six seven eight nine ten so i am getting the data of a student whose roll number is greater than five right so this is how we can filter the data by using where clause right and here is a comparison operators are there right so we have different operators so if i say different operators so we all know uh, operators right so like this is greater than right so greater than i'm not going to in detail because it is simple it is less than this this is greater than or equal right greater than or equal then this is less than or equal less than or equal right and then we have this so this will be not equal okay so this is just not equal also this or exclamatory tag and equals to this is also not equal so both are not equal okay so please remember this comparison operator greater than less than okay so we'll be using uh in this uh sql part because we can use this comparison operator while in the applying the condition in the where clause okay so this is simple select from where sql statement is right so select will give us the number of columns which we want to fetch from a particular table and where we'll ensure the condition that is filtering condition okay so i hope you understand this particular uh, thing now again i want to view a whole data okay select star from student right if i want to view a whole uh, data from a table student so i will get the whole data right now same thing i want the details of a student like all the columns i want whose age is greater than 20 okay i want a detail of a student whose age is greater than 20 so what changes i have to do here simply just mention where clause right so student where age greater than 20 that's it okay so i'm getting the details of a student whose age is greater than 20 here you can see okay so this is, so this is simple select from where uh, clause but inside the where clause we can add multiple conditions also right so for example first i have applied the condition that where age is greater than 20 now i also want the details of a student whose age is greater than 20 but from me department okay but from me department i want the details of a student whose age is greater than 20 and me department then what we can say we have one more condition here that is and clause we have to use and department equals to me okay so, so here me is a string so for department course then name and roll number this all uh, not roll number this name so these all are having the varchar data type so we have to use single quotation here okay so if i run this query so output will be age greater than 20 and department me so only one thing is there that is sara martinez right so this should be the output here you can see sara martinez so inside the where condition we can apply multiple condition okay so here i am i have just used and okay so if i use this uh, if i run this query so this is and operator and this condition will work on each and every row right for age greater than 20 so first it will check age greater than 20 no so it will not fetch age greater than 20 yes then it will check department equals to me no then it will not fetch right so it will check the condition row by row okay so this is what and condition will ensure now if i just change it to or instead of and if i just mention or so what i will get i will get the details of all the student right from student table where age is greater than 20 or department equals to me right so first i will get age greater than 20 so is it greater than 20 no department me no age greater than 20 yes i will get this data this data 
what about this so here you can see fourth row right my age is not greater than 20 for bob but the department is me so i will get this row also right and for this eva wilson no not greater than 20 here also greater than 20 but department equals to CSE, but still i will get the uh, data because if any one of the condition is true then it will fetch the data in the case of and both the condition must be true for each and every row for each and every row both the condition must be true but in the case of or any one condition is true then it will fetch the data okay so if i run this query so here you can see age greater than 20 21 22 uh, here, here it is 20 but the condition is department equals to me so here you can see department equals to me right and for rest it is age greater than 20 right so in this way you can apply multiple uh, filtering condition by using and or or operator okay i can add few more condition also like and i say for example credit greater than a 3.5 okay so if i apply three condition age greater than 20 department equals to me and credit greater than 3.5 so if i run this query so what i am getting uh credit greater than 3.5 right so in this case if you observe i am i am not getting any change in the output right i am not getting any change in the output right same output is there but why it is so because here if any one of the condition is true then we can say it will fetch the data right so and credit greater than 3.5 okay so if i just keep this part or department equals to me and okay and if i run this query so here you can see age greater than 20 and also create greater than 3.5 so here both the condition must satisfied in the case of and and in the case of or in the and in the case of or if any one condition is true then it is satisfied okay so i hope you understand this is select star from student where and this condition okay so very very important thing a question will be asked based on this okay star means i will get all the columns uh, if i want specific column then i have to mention specific columns okay so this is about the select from where uh, sql statement okay we are applying the different condition here okay now let us try to discuss this question so it has been asked in csc 2023 so this year only so we have a table name student right in a relational database the primary key of a table is roll number okay so this is my primary key it means my each and every record is unique and not null right we have name gender and marks okay now here the sql queries below is executed on this database so this is our query right select star star means i will get all the columns right select star from this particular student right what is the condition where gender equals to f and marks greater than 65 right then we have to find out the number of rows written by the query now in this case we have this student table we are fetching all the columns but we are interested in number of rows and for which where this condition is satisfied so where gender equals to f right now here we have to check where gender is equals to f so this is the row this row and this row like here you can see in all these three row my gender equals to f but there is one more condition to satisfy that is and mass greater than 65 now in this case mass greater than 65 yes so it will get fetch what about this mass greater than 65 and gender f yes it will get fetch now what about this gender is f but marks is not greater than 65 so it will not get fetch so in the output of this particular sql query only these two rows will be there okay roll number name gender marks so all the four columns will be there but these two row only will be there because these two row only satisfying my condition both the condition that is gender equals to f and marks equals to six and marks greater than 65 okay so the output will be so the answer will be two only right so this is any type of question in the previous uh, get year uh, so, so this type of question you can expect in the gate exam of da also so i hope you understand if you are given one table we have to select any row so we have to mention it here columns name from we have to mention the table name that is student where is the condition which is which we use to filter the data okay so please make sure very very important concept so this must be true right gender equals to f and mass greater than 65 in this case i will get the output proof too right but suppose instead of and it is or instead of and it is or and rest everything is same now in that case how many row will be there right so we'll see right so first thing is gender must be equals to f right it means that this row will get fetch this row will get fetch and this row will get fetch like either of the 
a condition must be true in the case of or or either if this is true it will get, fetch the data or if this is true it will fetch the data right so gender equals to f it will fetch these three uh, rows what about max greater than 65 max greater than 65 no if 65 yes and also a uh, gender equals to f so it will also get fetch right what about this gender f max greater than 65 yes what about this? Gender is equals to M, right? But max is greater than 65. You now this condition is getting satisfied here because it's or condition. Any one of the condition must be true or both can be true, right? This is what or is. So, so this row will also get fetched and also this row, right? So here one, two, three, four. So in that case, four will be the answer if I just change if I just change and to or. Okay. So please remember this very very important point they can just change the table name they can change the column name they can change the data or they can change this query okay so simple query is there nothing uh, much complex so uh, right so same type of question you can expect in the exam right so i hope you understand the concept of select then we have this column uh, name c1 c2 till uh, cn or we can use star then from table name right from table name so this is mandatory select from right then i uh, this but where clause we have to filter the condition right if i just select a uh, column from table so i will get all the data corresponding to this column but if i want to filter data so we have to use where clause and this is a condition okay this is a condition right now if you remember we have discussed about relation algebra right in the previous lectures relation algebra for example i want to write the relation algebra expression equivalent to this query okay so what will be the expression so we are selecting the star right so pi project operator we have to use now we have to mention all the column name right that is roll number then that is name this is gender and then marks okay so we want all the column names so that will that is the projection operator it will uh, project the particular column name then inside the bracket what is the condition so that is sigma operator right sigma operator is a condition operator we have discussed this so here it will be a gender equals to f and symbol will be used and marks greater than 55 okay then again i am continuing to that then inside the bracket table name that is student okay then a student bracket close and this bracket will also close right so this will be my relation algebra expression equivalent to this particular query okay so i hope you understand this particular concept how we are fetching a data from a, a particular table by using a select query okay so most of the question will be on select query so we'll discuss that but this simple one if you understand this then most of the things are application only okay okay so we'll discuss few advanced uh, commands in the next session okay thank you